Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to the start of a new campaign in the United UMC mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Now with this route, we are not going to play as good old Adolf. I've actually had to use Cod's commands to get to the point where he can oppose Mr. Adolf and, well, it looks like some Wehrmacht officers challenge good old Adolf. Latent, or latest, dissatisfaction with Mr. Adolf's rules come to a head with the current crisis caused by the administration's move to remilitarize Rhineland. A number of Wehrmacht generals have rallied behind the well-known field marshal August von Mackensen who have put in motion plans aiming to depose Mr. Adolf and remove the uh, certain party from Germany. Well, the split in the German high command becoming clearly apparent even abroad, foreign powers have elected not to protest against the remilitarization, more concerned with the growing internal German instability. The aging field marshal has moved quickly, already establishing a provisional government, to which scores have flocked in their opposition to the, the current government. The military coup is already well on its way, purge the scum from our lands. <clears throat> so, um, with that in mind, uh, the normal German civil war pretty much, but this is the United UMC mod. Now, I did look up, and this might be very buggy. I don't think it's done yet. I could be wrong about that at the time of this recording, but <clears throat> I wanted to see what it was like, and I was actually recommended by several people to try it out. Rebuild the nation, but reinstall the Kriegsamt. The Supreme War Office served in World War I as a state organization authorized to reform the economy from civilian to military production. Well, we reinstall the Kriegsamt once again, prepare our economy ahead of time to the wars that are yet to come. Um, pre-industrial mobilization, which is not great, but not bad. Autarky's not bad either. Um, new four-year plan. So we got to wait for all that stuff. We'll probably actually, we can actually go organize a new state. With the reformation of the German Empire, the Kaiser and his family have expressed increasing interest in state and military affairs. With the government's help, they shall reshape the state and lead gloriously. And I'll just, I'll set this up a little bit off-screen, and we'll just do kind of like a time lapse to get through the whole... Civil War stuff, but the new Deutsches Heer. Well, the recent victory against the uh, usurpers, we must reform the form of Wehrmacht back in the Deutsches Heer. The might of the German army will be once more visible to the world. Now, we could go back to our old tactics, which honestly sounds like what we should do, um, seeing as, well, we're going back to a monarchy, basically. So, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Modern Blitzkrieg? Recall the German, the Kaiser's generals. Uh, but... We'll see. We'll do pre-war industrial mobilization, or at least autarky. Germany will find itself in deep trouble if it runs out of aid resources it needs. To try and combat this, our academic ministers agree that striving for autarky is the only current possible option. Which is Luftstreifkräfte. Luftstreifkräfte, the German Imperial Air Force, serves well in the Valkyrie. As aircraft quality improves, its uses becomes more crucial in every future conflict. Rebuild the Kriegs of Kaiserliche Marine. A French and British dog stole our navy at the end of the last war. Now the Kaiser's attorney has dreamed to rebuild and expand the navy beyond even that of the British and French combined. Let's begin implementing this dream by providing the facilities to build the navy to its former and future glory. And also, I do want to let you know, we are on a historical.
back to our old tactics. Blitzkrieg has failed during the Valkyrie, therefore we must use uh, improved use of our artillery and support brigades and plan our advance with caution, which I want to go as which because it just makes more sense in my opinion to do that. Um, we can do that stuff over there. And the Politique, we need to do the return of the Kaiser. Secure the new state. That'd be good. In light of the civil war that formed, the provisional government lacks strength. We must ensure that it's secured and cannot be easily overthrown. As you can saw, see over here too, we did get Ludwig back. We got Gerd von Rundstedt, as well as Gunther von Klug, just because, well, I think that'd be pretty useful. Um, in the meantime, Chief of the Air Force. I still want as much cast as possible. Castle loading, Luftwaffe. Oh, we can still get Goring. Oh. Okay, well then. Um, Erector Flieger. Action's chance goes down. Offense, defense. Um, unfavorable conditions, individual pilot skill. It's not bad. Air attack and defense. And this one, uh, air experience gain, equipment cost, air mission efficiency, ground bombing, close air support missions. Well, I guess we'll choose you. Why not? We don't have a lot of political power, but security the state and reveal Nazi plans. <clears throat> what touching goes down? We'll wait for that one. Exp expatriate the communists. The internal threat of communism continues to plague your nation. We must rid of it. Uh, mid must rid ourselves of it, no matter where the adherents flee to, which would be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, get some extraction, because my goodness, we could probably use that immediately. Plane wise, and carriers. Oh, we will get carrier stuff later, but we don't really need that for now. Um, uh, there's a lot of stuff we could be doing right now, to be honest with you. Uh, give them political power. That's going to be all game, so. It's only 10% world tension. Also, these guys did go to war with these guys, so. I think I'll probably support the Republic of China in this campaign, too. So, they're not aligned. Oh god, they're not aligned. Oh, get some officers. Oh, crap. Um, yeah. Oh, we've only six divisions. Oh, good god. We've only six divisions. Well, that's not good. Actually, is there anything here about Poland? Danzig for guarantees. Okay, so maybe we won't try to kill them all. Because I do want to do this. Secure the Eastern Front. Security for territory. Uh, hold it. Dutch. Anything Dutch or Netherlands related? A Dutch deal. Have peace with the Netherlands. Hmm. Belgium? Schaefer wants more, of course. I just want to see if we can take out anybody ahead of time. Denmark. Go oh, Denmark. No? Oh, well, Denmark's only one. Oh, I can't even justify. God dang it. That's true. Oh, that sucks. Go and just keep training for now. Well, we might as well go ahead and get some more stability. Maybe. Uh, do we really need more stability? We have the natural spirits here too. Better loser and experience aircraft carrier construction. Untrust in the Kaiser. Uh, co covert military buildup. Ah, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, both has his fleet. Fascism is going down. Fleet stuff. Gross Admiral, a crater. Capital ship. This guy is more about subs, and I love subs. He's pretty strong, but at the same time, um, I don't want sub stuff. And he will give us daily. Actually, he won't give us daily naval XP. Oh, then I choose you immediately. No, you gave us daily naval air XP. Oh no, naval experience gain fifteen percent. Naval experience gain plus ten percent. Metro high command. Cover military build is gone. Daily naval XP is sure. Infantry exper expert will be pretty good to get to. Mm, sort of efficiency. Uh, Lutyens. Daily naval XP is not bad. We're using you anyways. I'm going to start working on all that stuff anyway, so. Cool. More divisions would be nice. Maybe we won't go to war with anyone early. We'll see. You know. But, reveal Nazi plans? No. Reveal revive the Kaiserreich. Deutsch National Volkspartei will be known as the German Empire. It'd be great. Get more daily for, for unaligned, which is fine. Now, I'm probably going to go bat grand battle plan on this campaign just because, uh, well, World Warfare is okay, but we've kind of already went down that one path, so. Uh, you know what? We'll just go and do it anyways. Oh, over here. Because we should go grand battle plan. Because we can. Because we should. Actually, why is this cheaper? German General Staff. Oh, wait. Attack and defensive core territory, devoted monarchist, German general staff. Oh, oh, it's over here. Okay. Well, mobile warfare doctrine cost goes down. 
which doesn't change. It does kind of suck that we have to wait for longer, but it's only 8%, whatever. Um, over here, anything else? No, we're pretty good. Ship stuff, 1936 deck conversions, 108 days is quite a while. I like, I like sub stuff, but we're grabbing that already. Anyways, over there. Um, we don't really need this, but we'll grab it anyways. But yeah, we'll go Trench Warfare. Yep. Going crazy now. Oh, that's a good point. Five, four. Oh, good God. All goes for Mackinson to take so much bit of power. Oh, goodness. Why right now we gotta just build ourselves up? Build, 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 build. What about the Kaiserreich? Return of the Kaiser, drop a new constitution. Always false. So I guess we can't go that way, which... Why would we want to go to democracy, you know? It's okay. It's alright. Oh. Actually, that's not bad. But, return of the Kaiser. The Kaiserreich needs a Kaiser and build in the second solar left, exile in the Netherlands. When he left his exile, invited to return and take the throne, despite what the Western democracies might think. If that's the case, I can't remember. I think that the Dutch don't really want Velen II to be the leader. Um, I forget. If we have high relations, though, or higher relations, they might be okay with it. I could be wrong, though. I could be very wrong. Return of the Kaiser. Uh, where are we at for world tension? 16%. Reveal not to plans. The Nazis have many plans to invade and exterminate the citizens of our neighbors. We should garner trust with them by revealing these plans to them in good graces. For good graces. Graces, graces, graces. So. Only 10 days left, which is nice. Just build. For the love of God, build. And we'll have a civil war here in the Soviet Union, too, it sounds like. Oh! Swed Wait, they officially invited the Swedish Prince Wilhelm, Duke of Sondermanland, earlier today. What the... Imperial election as well in the second. The old guard for the right choice of the Kaiserreich. The new hope. Oh, the right choice for the Kaiserreich. Well, that's not bad. Army connections, former leader of the Crown Prince's Corps. That's pretty good. But let's see if we can get done the second first. Um, how did they get democratically invite the Habsburg Prince? Well, not even Habsburg. Well, whatever. We'll see about over here. The Kaiser knows best. Remove untrust in the Kaiser. Nice. More political power, more stability. Nice. Fleet and being. Yes. The Kaiser returns to Germany, okay. In the midst of ecstatic uh, celebrations, Vilma II returns return as Kaiser to the German Empire. The Netherlands is owed a debt of gratitude for allowing them to save for refuge these past decades and though and for refusing its extradition to our former enemies on multiple occasions. Though the nation suffered much in the recent civil war, it's hoped that the Kaiser's return will bring further stability and unity. He shall undoubtedly lead the nation well. Nice. Daily democracy support goes down. Oh, his beloved Kaiser Lisha Marine, the old guard. Ooh, Eric's army XP game goes down, but whatever. Well, look at this guy. Welcome back. Long live the Kaiser. The Kaiser, of course, knows best. Uh, and then we'll reveal the Nazi plans. And embrace Weltpolitik. Hey, Spain's going to war with each other. Nice. Which side do we support? Well, we can't do anything right here. So the Spanish down here, the Democratic, really commies, are probably going to win. Disbanded army. You seriously disbanded the army? How would you do that? Field Marshal shoot. That'd be cool. So we don't really need to do any of this stuff, actually, because we'll get more stability anyways. We'll, we'll get one over one a day. Vell in the second bond. Hawkins on plus 20% political power. Plus 15%. And more political power. Yeah, yeah. Holy crap. Nice. Very nice. So, oh, we will improve our situation eventually, but we can wait uh, for that one. Support National Spain. Completed support national Spain. Support national Spain. Well, we can't quite do that. Reveal the Nazi plans. Uh, I'm not really sure what we should do. Prepare a telling coup. We can't imperial settlement. I kind of want to see Anschluss Österreich to see what happens with that. So, embrace Weltpolitik. Weltpolitik, or world politics, is an imperialistic foreign policy that aims to transform Germany into a global power through aggressive diplomacy, the acquisition of overseas colonies, and the development of a large navy. With the Kaiser back of power, we can once again embrace this idea and transform Germany into the powers destined to be. We create the central powers. We're getting the band back together. Um, I do want to get some tank to be. Oh, usually, a tank battalion. You're, oh, good God. Oh, it's disgusting. Alright, so this much here. We don't have a lot of people to choose from. This wouldn't be too bad to choose. Get more output anyways, immediately. Um, I only choose Benhard Rust, because he's not great, but I only do it with when he plays the Nazis, so... Um, that seems okay as well. 
Today's four four line goes up even more. I mean, I, I'm not opposed to that because you get another operative slot and whatnot. But we do, do we really need that right now? Not really. Off of Rosenberg, okay. Malza. Um, theorists. Subs. Better for support. Ooh. Ground attack. Ernst Udet. I kind of have to go that way if we want that. Ooh. But is it? Oh. Traditional uh, Kriegsführung. It sounds like we had to choose that guy. But at the same time. Ooh. I definitely want this. So. Go with both. Eventually we won't need that much political power anyway. So. It is what it is. But before we embrace Veltpolitik, let's go rebuild a nation. Oh, that's not bad. We're still the Kriegs dumped. Yeah, we wanted to do this one originally, so we might as well. That'd be good. Let's get that one done. Nice. Mongolian, Mongolian power competition. You're going to read about this, please go ahead. Absolutely. Sure, for now. I feel them Nazi plans. Nice. John, that's not doing well. Japan is very white. Wow. We need at least 30 divisions. Pop them out. Very nice. And then we can start sending stuff to all over the world. Um, I'm probably still going to go ahead and just do dive bombing again because it's so strong. I love Cass. Cass is just so strong right now. It's not even funny. Nice. Nice. Let's come back over here and do a brace of politique. Followed up with, uh, rebuild a nation. After the ravages of the Civil War, we must look to rebuilding our nation. We ask people to set aside their personal comforts for a time, so we may focus all our resources on attaining that goal. Or this goal, really. Alright, so it's 1937. Let's keep building ourselves up. Get more output. Get some more of that. Get some more aluminum, more rubber. Some fuel. Fuel's gonna be key to everything we do here. Lots and lots of fuel. <clears throat> what do we have here? Two armor trains. Oh. Like, honestly, you don't really need armor chains, but you know what? They're nice to have. Actually, support natural spin. Yeah, we can't do this one, so. Oh well. Negotiate based on conditions for future contracts? No. Can't do that now, as you can see. Whatever, infantry specialist. Oh, we already have them here. Von Bock. Uh, screens are okay. Drum bombing. Close air support, attack, defense, agility, air corps volunteer plus one hundred. Ooh, pair droppers. I gotta go with you, man. I gotta go with you. And let's go and support uh, Canaries. Might as well. Might as well. That's another ship. Awesome. We're gonna have some big old fleets here by the time we're done. Poland declaring its war on itself? Nice. There's an uprising in Krakow. Industrial concerns, crop output, industrial research speed, refineries, construction speed. Yeah, IG popping all the way. E30. There you go. Heck, how many giving me seven with just doing this? Two? That's not bad. Better than what I thought. Let's go. We send 210. That's not bad. All right. Of course, we have no spare planes right now, but whatever. Um, fighter fighters. You guys are just hanging out. No. Um, and all honestly, just uh, naval bombers Let's go right there. You train tactical bombers, tac bombers. There you go. Don't even bother me with that stuff for now. Fighters, fighters. Yeah, we we'll probably should send at least one thing of fighters over there. <clears throat> Should we not? And do we have any Cass? A little bit of Cass. <coughs> Alright, National Spain. Um, we're not even really close to you, but if you really want to send soldiers this way, we'll let you. T we'll let you. Rebuild the nation. Next for your plan. I do want to get a research slot as fast as possible. Pre war militarization. Um, backup stages. Nice, they're done there already. I mean, there is a research slot down here. Oh, we need more manpower. Preparing a Italian coup. We well, must do that. Challenge them. So we gotta get rushed through here. So that's one, two. We need a crap ton of political power. Holy crap. We get married too. Three, four. 
Um, and that's going to take a while. So we got to really save our political power now. Or we can go one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll go down this way. New four year plan. So now I gotta save our pee pee. Alright, so you guys are down here. And you need to be allowed by a dude. A fear loyalist, huh? A popular in government. Franz Halda. Eh, whatever for now. Whatever. Uh Von Mackinson. I don't want to say China. Hi we have we still have Heinrich Himmler, holy crap. Um Von Blomberg. I mean it makes sense to use him. The war hero is unpopular though. So I'll use you. I don't know if I really want to use uh Himmler, so you know, just saying. For purposes. I'm not sure if Himmler's a great guy to choose right now. Could be I could be wrong. I could be very wrong about that. But still. Oh, uh, there's too many people there. There. There you go. Doing some damage. How about we went down here? Can we even do it down here? We're bombing. Having fun. We love bombing people. Yes. New for your plan. Yes, please. More naval stuff? Nice. We're going to need to import some more, some more fuel, but whatever. Uh, after four year plan, bulwark against Bolshevism. Oh, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Well, Kazavell and Vecca. We've gained a huge amount of industry that's going to confiscate from the former Nazis. We can now form into one Kazavecca corporation that will provide equal working rights for every German citizen. Nice. Nice for you. Where are you guys at? You're over there. Uh, let me just put you against Poland. Oh, God. Poland is a mess. And we'll go down to. On bikes, no, we'll get Von Plusha. Why not? And we'll need Moses have you be up by Von Munchstein. August Himmler, no, you're not leading my Panzers. Uh Heinz. Yeah, you gotta do that. You gotta be aggressive too. But go ahead and train, just like everyone else. No shame in training, for now. Oh wow, you can play surrounded, huh? Nice. And war artillery is good. 1937. Anything else here? Cap. Very nice. You know what? Help out. Let me move. Just help out. Ooh, we also finally. 36. So we got that up. That. Uh, Panzer shift. Nah. Cruiser holes. Light cruiser holes. I like those. 36. Um, and all those are resting out worth having right now. Um, heavy batteries are nice. Old type. Good god, no. Actually, they're actually not bad compared to like what we already have. Use some civilian reliability, but it's just not that much stronger in terms of attacking. Okay, I know I did not know that. Level three heavy engine is already pretty good. Secondary battery, retro speed a little bit more. Heavy armor, battleship versus what is this? Battle cruiser. Um, any other things for planes here? So level one. You can move a cannon, maybe. More anti air, perhaps. That'll help you speed up a little bit more, but you know what? For this one now, this is okay. Let's go with two at a time. And can we do anything about these light cruisers at all? Dual purpose. Ooh, that'd be good to get. Let's, well, let's see first. What do we have in here? Heavy batteries, medium batteries. Light cruiser twos. We've only level one. No hydrophones either. Sucks. Level three. It's okay for now. We need more naval XP before we go on. Good job, guys. Beat up some Japanese right there. The store. Done soon, too. Beautiful. Repair, too. Why not? Beautiful. See what you can do down here. What do we got? New for your plan. Nice. Get some more cities because those are very, 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 very important. Oh, oh, oh! Second Russian Civil War. There you go. Down in the Soviet Compact. Sending advice to the provisional Russian government. Civil War is once again broken in Russia. The provisional government leading leads a war against Yosef Stalin, and the rebels are successful. We have a lot of game. We promise them support, and Abraham von Mackensen and the Duchess Kaiser are ready to go to the provisional Russian government to help plan the war and gain valuable insights to the Russian military capability. That's interesting. Oh, we lose. Eberhard von Mackensen and Reinhard Heydrich to them. Oh my goodness. Bunch of crazies. We can send you volunteers. I'm not. Uh, I guess I can send von Manstein if we really wanted to. 
but still 212 is still not bad. Uh, fighters here, come down here. Uh, here. We wanted the range for it, so actually, there's some tack bombers, which are just definitely not as good as cast. Yeah, it's fine. Let's do that. I'll be fine. The Hindenburg disaster. Oh, humanity. Yeah, I'm not trying to get Princess Victoria Louise in this campaign. Can you actually do anything there? No. They're, re they're reinforcing, so. Hold for now. Um, yeah, I actually might be able to snake in through here a little bit. Get rid of some of their supply. That'd be good. As much as I want to get more people, we got to save our PP. 55 days. Oh, good God. Um, yeah, we got to get over here. At least 400,000 manpower in the field. Well, we can make these guys thicker, definitely. If we really wanted to. Use more manpower too. But Russian volunteers will be at. Oh my gosh, you got uh, out of all places to be sent. What the heck? What the barnacles, man? What the barnacles? You know what? Can I recall them? Oh, I can't recall them. I do want to do this too, though. That'd be really good, but still. Why did they just... Uh, why? Why would they do it like that? Shaoxing. Actually, you guys go right here. Um, you try to split them up like this, maybe? Ah, uh, they're reinforcing, though. Mm, but we're doing okay. Pinay incident. Alright, not bad. Pull the line, and then you're gonna help support the attack right there, too. Two more Japanese dip. Japanese divisions go bye bye. Sounds good to us. And there goes Spain even more. This could help them out if we really wanted to, but I don't want to get trapped over here. That's so bad. Why? I mean, it gives Monstein some expert expertise, but still. We want to the nationalists. They're not in a line, technically. So. We're not big fans of democracy or anarchism. So, yeah. Um, naval bombers, that's what you are. Get some f oh, we have no one else to spare right now. Oh, crap. <laughs> there we go. We're definitely helping out a lot of people here, though. Pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. And more ships. Nice. I'm going to import one thing of fuel right now, too. Wait, Deutsches Reich. You don't look like Deutsches Reich. There you go. And now we will grab. Do you know the Volkswagen program? Program. The idea behind a people's car has been around since the Model T some 20 years ago. So far, the program started by Ferdinand uh, and Polish uh, and certain Adolf guy has been a success among citizens of Germany. We can only presume that continuing this program will be beneficial for all. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, oh, now we're actually missing guns. That's not good. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Why? Have yourself before they uh, just gonna hang out here first. Help them down there. Now a little more naval XP, we can actually get some better light cruisers then. Uh, at the very least, level 2. Uh, torpedoes are alright. I'd rather have anti-sub stuff for now. Aircraft is fine. Anti-air cannons? Oh, yeah, I don't have that much anti-air. Torpedoes are okay, too. There you go. Oh, that's not bad. Now... Student, it's open. So 
point, man. Starting some millies, good. Oh crap, I need to save some of that RXP. Crap. My bad. For cast stuff. Whatever. We'll get there. We're 12 combat width. We'll still go with some motorized as well. More organization's nice. And. Good. Another truck. Well. Oh. Well, I guess technically we would prefer to probably help out this Carlos over this regular Spanish, but whatever. Let's do that for that. Oh well. Try to get out front. That'll help him out quite a bit. Um, our officer's cool because he can. And then we already got the Artie. How about tanks? Some of that stuff. Tanks would be nice too. Twenty. We need more planes. Definitely need more planes. Oh, is it your tactical bombers? That's fine too. For now. But still, we need a lot of planes. More millies. We need a lot more of everything, pretty much. Oh, you actually were able to beat him back. Go figure. Impressive. Oh god. Now, never mind. Never mind. Nah, no, it's super impressive. They've lost all the north. Volkswagen and research facilities. Where enemies excel in numbers, we must be ahead in quality and innovation. Putting additional research facilities is the right step to take. Well, hopefully these guys do well up here, but they're struggling, definitely. Oh, good god. But even if they fail, you know, I'm not super concerned. I'll give them about forever to do that. Over here. This could probably win as long as we don't get encircled here. That'd be good. Machine tools, two. I'll get some rubber. Always gonna get some rubber. Help them out as much as you can. Research facilities, then we'll come over here and do uh, eh, maybe not challenging and stuff right now. Magnify Kaiser Lecce world and influ influence. The Germany is once more united and firm. Now we must not hesitate to expand our influence to the world that has for too long been beaten by the Franco British capitalism and imperialism, which will stand as an alternative for those who cannot defend themselves alone. Oh, poop them out too. Beautiful. We need that tile too. Good, 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 good. How much map power do we have in the field? We're close. We're very close. To having enough. Good. If we pop them out one more time, we should be good. Beautiful. Fifth research slot, finally. More fuel. Ship wise, how are we doing? Just keep training? Yes. This will be super crucial for us to get. Ah, well, they got more divisions now to use. And a wider front to defend. And we got him. You know what? You got him out right here, too. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. And we're going to go and cute these guys out. There we go. Anschluss Ostrachis. We urge you for reform. Actually, if that's the case right now, look at this. Well. Just in case they say no. That's a lot of divisions trapped there. It's not bad. Do the best you can. And they reinvaded down there. Crap. A little more fuel? Sure. Fuel refining, nice. It's a little ahead of time. So 937. Plane wise, still looking pretty decent. Tank wise, we're doing okay. We'll grab some luck if we can. And they have one division up there too. And then we can force the attack to help beat the crap out of them. Down here, the instructors dive bombing. That will most definitely help out. Shoot Stafos. Since in Sudan land. Sudetenland, I should say. 
Now we attack. Can anyone else have plus attack as two? Because they're oh, they're running out. Nice. Oh, Belarus is now out, which doesn't mean very much. But they're actually looking a little better now. Poland is still killing itself, so we don't really care. And then you guys just kind of hanging out too. Not bad. Only 117 factories is not enough. That's not good enough. Force it. Do that as well for now. It's almost a bit more extraction. Steel and chromium is what we're going to really need. You know what? I'll trade away for one of these two. And since you guys are here, we're going to go up here. Now that should definitely help us out. Quite a bit. Nice. Basic engines. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Don't spend the army XP just yet. Uh, super big battleships? Sure, why not? We need Now this is where we need all this stuff here. Austrian Mountaineer Experience. For 25 days, you get two military factories. How can we not choose that one? The people vote for unification! The Austrian people voted in favor of unification with the Northern Brethren. Integration of Austrian states in their military would commence immediately. A great day for the German question. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Uh, pull up. Oh, look at this. An armored car division. That's not bad. That's actually very good. Where is it? Where are they? Um, oh, no, it's uh, demobilized. Hold on. Or decommissioned, I should say. No, you are exactly what we want. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother with these two. This up a division template? No, not worth it. Uh, Mountaineer six and engineers is not bad. What do we have here? Nope, you're not good enough. So you guys, you are gonna actually switch to you know, let's switch to Mountaineers. You switch to Mountaineers too. Never mind. Actually, this division template's what infantry. It's not bad, but still. There you go. Yep. There we go. Yep. And next will probably be you guys right here. Yugoslavia is slowly dismantling itself. Good job, Yugoslavia. Actually, you do that too. Led by... Adam? Sure. Led by... Von Richthofen? Well, I kind of a special forces type of guy. You know what? We'll give you... Hoth, you will actually be led by Von Richthofen. That seems more that more better. Seems better. Austria votes to join Germany. Beautiful. As they should, right? As they should. Von Falken von Falkenhausen stays in in here. Alexander von Falkenhausen is on a military mission in China. He's been a real value to the Chinese military by making him stay there permanent. We can greatly improve our diplomatic relations with China, open a way to more possibilities in Asia. Absolutely. We go here. We go here. Just have fun. Ah, oh, yes, the tank division finally. Oh no, whoops, my bad. And then you go something territory. You guys have been doing great down here too. Gotta love it. Not bad so far. And there goes Georgia, but I don't think anyone's really concerned about Georgia that much. It's almost 38, but we still have other things we can do here as well. Um, idea air XP is not much, but it's still worth something here. So you can't really do much right there. Um, can I send you volunteers too, Wang Shi? There you go. Oh, yeah, I just down here too. Let's go and do it down here as well. Beautiful. Oh, Nebelvelka. More resources, and especially for like chromium that we need. Tanks are essential for winning an armed conflict. We will address Steyabelka to build the world's largest United Tank Plant in Bavaria, Nebelung. We will build mighty and indomitable Panzerwaffe. We'll do this one first. GMN will be really good to get. Good 
Beautiful. How are we doing in Spain? Doing all right? Doing all right? Yes, we are. Good. Very, very good. Yeah, from here on out, just to, just kind of go wherever these guys go. Pretty good. Still 1.24 every single day. That's very good. Help him out. Immediately. Chantal. He's on quite a bit. I love it. Two. Two divisions. And they're all going to die. Beautiful. Yeah, the Japanese aren't doing so well. I definitely going to do this one, but... Finish Autobahn Construction would be very good to get. Bulwark against Bolshevism would be very good to get. Um, we could wait for that one, too. Pre-war industrialization, autarky. I do want to get a war economy, but we need more than 50% world attention. So there's no really point to do that yet. Support Heisenberg's research. Heisenberg? Ooh. Add technology. Schlagschiff, H41. Well, prepare the Italian coup. Italy's fall in fascism must be undone. We'll approach the Italian royalists with a proposal for a coup with their support. I guess why not? Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. It's gonna be quite a while. If we can upgrade this now, that'd be good too. So, as much as you can do for now, it's all right. Nice. Keep hanging out for now. Um, you probably actually just go there and be fine. Or maybe not. I'll hopefully, defend well. Over here, more defense and organization. Very good. Guys, if you help attack, you can help win here, but I guess not. Alright, whatever. Don't help. Nice, putting up some roads, some vessels around, then two. Fifty. What are we missing? We need more trucks, which is pretty normal. We need more planes, pretty normal. We need some serious amount of rubber, too. Keep doing this. We need more repairs, that's fine. 38. Not bad. Get some research speed. Super heavy battleship. Is that really worth it? We'll see. Uh, 38. Also, two. I'm gonna go over here, huh? All right. Well. Oh, and there goes Ukraine. More divisions. Nice. Cool. Assassinate Mussolini. They accepted a proposal. Elements in the Italian government and underground have accepted a proposal for a coup. They're making preparations for a swift seizure of power for the king for as soon as the assassinations happen. We consider plans of motion. The time's coming sure ahead and at the end of the lynchment of Italian fascism. German hands will assassinate the leader, after which the Italian royalists will seize power in one swift motion. Well. Getting the band back together, you know? Um, and we'll do Nibble, Nibble Bavaria, Vaca. I don't want to challenge him just yet. So. Pre war industrialization or industrial mobilization? From our first hand experience in the Valkyrie, we know that Germany does not stand a chance along less complex unless we can mobilize our industry so that it and the Deutsches Volk can survive the next Valkyrie. Yeah, okay, it's kind of hanging out here. The cost of trying to do encirclements, man. Excavation is very good. Let's grab the other one here, too. Five fixture slots. We're putting ourselves in a pretty good position so far. We will need some synthetic refineries, though. Go ahead and build it right there. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. But let's see if we can get rid of Mussolini. Just a simple click of a button, and he's dead, you know? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. So uh, our plan has been executed flawlessly. And Victor Emmanuel III has been taking up the mantle of leadership of the nation. His first act was to sign a treaty ensuring Italian entry into the Central Powers Alliance. The monarchists shall rise again. Welcome back, Kingdom of Italy. Welcome back. Everything went perfectly. Just simple bang, and he's dead. Just so simple. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. What?
in which we'll see how wacky this world will get with the Deutsches Kaiserreich leading in UMC or United UMC Mob. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.